Okay, so here's a real quick and dirty tutorial on how to resize a Raspberry Pi image. Uh, so first we're going to download and install Win32 Disk Imager. And you can Google where to find it. It's at SourceForge. Uh, once you have that downloaded, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed. You'll want to run it. You'll need to have an SD card uh, inserted into the machine. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to burn an, a Raspbian image onto the SD card. Uh, you're probably versed with how to do this, I would imagine, if you own a Raspberry Pi. So you're going to download Raspbian. Uh, you can Google it, download it. We're going to use Win32 Disk Imager to burn it onto the SD card. And once that's done, we can eject the SD card. Now we're going to need a USB thumb drive that's large enough to um, hold the image that we want to resize. So you'll want to um, insert a USB thumb drive and you're going to want to format it using XFAT. So go ahead and do a quick format. And once that's formatted, we're going to want to uh, drag the image that we're going to resize over to the USB thumb drive that we just formatted. So go ahead and copy that over. So now I've booted the uh, Raspberry Pi using the Raspbian image that we just burned. And you'll notice if I take the USB key that I just um, copied the image that I want to resize over to, you'll notice I get an error. And that's because right now the Raspberry Pi doesn't have the ability to read the XFAT file system format. So now we'll want to open a terminal and install XFAT. And we do that by typing sudo space apt-get install xfat hyphen fuse once xfat is installed we'll be able to insert the usb thumb drive and the system will be able to read it there it is and there's the image that we want to resize so now we're going to find a script called pyshrink.sh. So if you do a search for in Google for pyshrink.sh, um, it should be the first hit there. And I don't actually download the script. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually just copy it and then uh, paste it into a text document. I find it easier than just downloading it. Uh, it has to do with character encoding. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just copy it here and then open up a terminal and run nano which is a text editor. In a terminal I'm just going to uh, change directories over to the uh, the location of the thumb drive. And then once I've done that I can go ahead and run nano. So I'm just going to type nano and then whatever the file name I want to call it. In this case I'll just call it uh, pyshrink.sh um, and I can just paste it in. Save it by typing control O and then exit with control X. Now I'm going to want to make the uh, the script executable and I'll do that by typing chmod plus X and then the name of the script. Now all I need to do is just run the script so I'll do that by uh, typing sudo dot slash the name of the script and then the name of the image. So now we're pretty much done. Uh, I just wanted to go into uh, a little bit about gparted. So this is a totally different thing. Let's say now we have our image, uh, which is compact, and we want to burn it onto larger media. Let's say the image is 18 gigabytes, but we're burning it onto a 64 gigabyte um, SD card. Um, so obviously we want to be able to use the entire SD card. So what we can do is we can actually use something called gparted and that'll give us a nice GUI interface so that we can extend the partition to utilize the entire media. So in a terminal, we're going to want to type sudo apt-get install gparted. And once it's finished installing, all I need to do is type sudo space gparted and it'll launch uh, the GUI interface, and I'm not even going to tell you how to do it. It's really easy to use. So you can actually expand that partition um, and utilize the entire disk. So that's, that's how you do that. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care.